Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Um, transracial. Transracial. <laughs> uh, what the heck even is transracial? Uh, this is some nonsense. Um, but I wanted to address it. I usually don't get into this kind of stuff, but, um, because it's coming from, you know, the conservative side, it's the, you know, sometimes I call them, uh, progressives in Republican clothes, just, um, people who, uh, who have a problem because, you know, you don't, because of someone like me who doesn't particularly pay all that much attention to um, race and when, when it comes to, you know, certain things. I just don't uh, think that it ultimately matters. So let me just back up and give you guys a bit of background about myself. So when I first uh, came into, when God first sort of revealed um took the blinders off of my eyes about this, you know, the left, the liberals, the, you know, all those things. It didn't come through just the political side. For me, it was a very spiritual thing. It was, I was sitting on my couch. Many of you have heard, if you followed my um, story, then you have, you, you might know that I was sitting on my couch and God spoke to my heart and told me that my skin color had become an idol in my life. And how transformative that um, that that was for me. That moment, it was life changing for me. It literally was life changing. God was not pleased with me being so race focused. It was basically God was saying, "I want you to see the world through the lens of being a Christian, and not through the world of through, through the lens of being black." Now. That doesn't mean that racism doesn't exist. That doesn't mean that, um, you know, it don't mean that racism doesn't exist. But for me, it does, it did mean that I was not going to live my life through the eyes of being a black woman, black this, black that. I'm not. I. It will never happen. You can call me all the names you want. You can call, you can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. I promise you, Y'all, you know, a lot of people, you don't know me like that. Like you don't know me like that. And so uh, what you, you, you know, just because I don't respond, just because, you know, I try to just brush you off, keep it, keep it pushing, keep it moving. Um, <laughs> you know, you don't, you shouldn't take people's kindness for weakness and you shouldn't take the um <laughs> okay yeah. uh you shouldn't take um because i don't focus on race that doesn't mean that i don't you know know when i see a black person <laughs> you know what i mean like people have this idea that just because if you're not focused on race at every turn you know that everything you know that you know you're you're a band I was accused of basically abandoning the community. Um, I'm being transracial, you know, you, uh, denial, uh, denial of unity is not, denial of your race basically is not unity. It's not bringing anybody together. It's not, I don't have to do all that. I don't have to do flips and tricks and turns and, and flop it. I don't have to do all that. I stand on the word of God. That's what I stand on, period. You know, when I'm asked um, exactly what even it is transracial, you know, like as if I'm up here trying to say like, oh, yes, well, I'm, a, I'm a white woman. And, you know, or, you know, no, it's just that I don't put emphasis on race because at the end of the day, God did not make race. Uh, it, it, the the God's diversity of having different skin colors is uh, it's 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 God's diversity. It's nothing to big up, and it's nothing to put down. It's just different. 
levels of melanin because let's be clear, we all have melanin. We all have melanin, okay? Um, unless you're like an albino, <laughs> then you don't have melanin. But if you're white, you got melanin too. <laughs> if you're black, you got melanin. You have higher levels of melanin. And I will never think that just because someone has a higher level of melanin, that that automatically makes them special. It makes them inferior. It makes them anything that it's race is a is as it's a social construct. The real social construct. People are are trying to say that. Um, uh, you know, gender is a social construct. That is not a social construct, but race is most definitely a social construct. It is something that, yes, racist people made up to focus in on a group of people where, you know, contained in the United States of America, we're talking about to say that black people were less than. It, it, it's a social, it was made up. It was not for you to take that thing, get you some power, then turn around and do the same exact thing. You know, hi, hi, Dan. Um, that is whack and that's stupid. You can call me whatever you want. Uh, but I'm still going, I'm still not going to have an emphasis on race. Not because of y'all, whoever you may be, that has an opinion about, you know, what I think, uh, uh, you know, not putting a, an emphasis on race in every situation and all of this kind of stuff. Um, you can think whatever you want to think because I'm not looking for you. I'm not seeking for your approval. I'm not. I'm looking for well done and my good and faithful servant. His approval is the one that I am uh, seeking. That's what. I care about. I do not. Um, once God took that off of me, it. Do you think I would actually, when God has given you a revelation on something and the way God revealed it so strongly, I knew that um, that was something that was offensive to God. It is offensive to call yourself a Christian, but still feel like you are. Um, leading your life, living your life through that lens instead of the lens of being a Christian. I think that is why God explicitly put in the Bible, uh, those who are, I'm paraphrasing the scripture, but you know, there is no, neither Jew nor Greek nor Gentile. Y'all know the scripture. I think that's why he explicitly put that in there because all of this going back and forth and who's, you know, who's more, um, who's showing being the, the blackest, you know, huh? are you being the blackest? Are you being the, you know, are you really being as black as you can be? Are you really fighting for your community? If you don't, you know, all of this foolishness, you don't, you can be white and, and be fighting harder for black, black communities. You could be black. I mean, it, it, none of that stuff freaking matters. In the grand scheme of things, go tell that to, you know, some of those white folks that hung right next to black people when, the, when, when, uh, you know, they were fighting to abolish slavery. There were white people that hung too, where they, you know, because they, they skinned, they didn't have the, the melanin, you know, today they would have been like, don't speak. You ain't got enough melanin. Shut up. You know, don't talk. Cause we, we, we you know, all of this foolishness. Ugh. I'm pissed. I'm on one today. Yes, I am. Because this is, I've been looking at these comments and people are just crazy. So I got into it on Twitter uh, with someone and, you know, they're trying to tell me that I am somehow, you know, not standing up for the community and I am not, um, you know, basically I ain't doing, I ain't black and right. <laughs> I'm not black and right. So, you know, I need to be, um, chastised, I guess. Well, <laughs> let me, let me, y'all, you don't know me like that. You really don't know me like that. And I don't take kindly to those types of, of accusations because what I care about is the kingdom of God. His kingdom 
coming, you know, being bring being ushered into to the earth. That's what I care about. You know, your blackness, your whiteness, your all of that. Those those divi those divisive things, they come from communism. It is why though those things are so uh, became so prevalent in our society. The you know it it became it 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 um became a thing again, you know, in the 60s, putting black people against white people and all of this stuff because of communism. And it is still happening today. Now, that doesn't mean that there weren't uh, issues back then that needed to be uh, rectified, but it certainly doesn't mean that you start, you know, having to hyper-focus on race. It is stupid. Race does not tell me anything about you. You could be black and evil. You could be white and evil. You could be, you. It, evil has no respect of race. It has no respect of person. It has no respect of person. Zero, zilch. So why in the freak would I go around emphasizing, putting an emphasis on something that doesn't, move any type of situation forward. It's actually really silly and stupid to do. It is dumb. And I don't have to go around here, you know, with a fist up to try, you know, what is that? That's just like the black squares. What I got to do? I got to go around and you're always talking about race and always, you know, trying to act like that is, it, 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 you know, it, it's supposed to tell you about myself. No, that doesn't. That doesn't tell you anything about me. Okay, you see that I'm black. Okay, and? And so what? <laughs> so what? What am I doing? Am, am I, you know, how, am I, am I provide, am I, am I being a good uh, wife and mother? Am I being a good example to my children? Am I, you know, am, that is what we, I'm supposed to be concerned about. Me being black, don't tell you anything. It is a tool that the devil has, is using and has used to divide people. That is what it is. <laughs> you know, like I, I'm just so sorry. So let me share this, um, this, what I was told recently. Uh, let's see here. silly to me. It's ignorant. So I was, this is what was said to me. It says, God could have made me anything. He chose to make me black and black with a, with a capital B like black as in, you know, like it's a, po I, you know, I don't even, I don't capitalize anyway, capital B black. This logic of, quote, God created this diversity, so we should ignore it, is wild to me. We are not supposed to judge or hate each other because of it, but the diversity in God's creation exists for a reason. And it's not honoring God to pretend to be transracial with a laughing emoji. God created the beautiful skin that we all have. God created racial diversity. He created different languages, and I trust that God knew what he was doing. Unity through denial is not unity. I don't even know what that means. If you don't love me for me, then that's not real love. We unite by embracing each other for who we are, not pretending that it doesn't exist. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I just don't believe that the race part of it is, 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 is going to show you who I am. That's what I am saying. Yeah. Um, we, unity through denial, unity through denial. What? Like somebody else, unless you blind, you can see that I'm black. Like I don't have to, you know, I don't have to like pronounce, uh, make the declaration of my blackness. You see, I'm black, <laughs> you know, but, but that's why they're capitalizing the B is because being black has now taken on another definition that goes beyond just higher melanin count. It's 
just higher melanin count. Like, and it's okay. So what? Go. We got all different types of hair. We have all different types of hair. So what am I supposed to be defined by my hair now too? Am I supposed to, we have all different types of nails, you know? Am I supposed to judge, you know, be looking at people like, oh, well, you know, you got, um, you, you polished your nails pink instead of uh, red. So therefore, you know, there's, there's something to this, <laughs> you know, I, I'm supposed to pay extra close attention because God gave us this ability to have, um, to have different types of hair. I mean, maybe the nail thing is a different, it's not a good, a good example, but let's stick with hair. So God, so some of us are born with curly hair. Some of us are born with straight hair. Some of us are got a little wave, you know what I mean? And am I supposed to pay extra close attention? You know, are you denying your, yourself? <laughs> are you not looking for unity and being together because, you know, you're not paying special attention to somebody's curl pattern? This is stupid. This is really dumb. Like it's going in the dirt. Your skin color is going in the ground. It's going in the ground along with your hair, along with your, your nails, your toenails, your, your eye color, you know, all of those things, what you're wearing, it's going it's exactly Shalisa. It's go. It's the flesh. It's going in the ground. It's going in the dirt. But what will stand is what you did, who you were. That's what God is going to to look at, because otherwise, he's he, what is he saying? Well done, too. He's saying, well done, my good and faithful servant. Um. So he's saying, well done, my good and faithful servant, because he's going to be looking at who you, what you did for the kingdom in the earth, not because of your skin color. If you think that it ha it's going to be considered, you need to go and read your Bible. I'm sorry to tell you that he's not, he, he has no respect of person in that way. He doesn't care about your blackness. I'm sorry. You know, it's not going to get you any points. Because you, um, you know, it's what you do. It is what you do. And it's not what you do because you're black. It's not what you do when you're white or because you're white. It's not what you do of any of that. It is going to be what you did. Point blank, period. Whether you're white, black, red, yellow, Asian, whatever. It's going to be what you did. That is it. That is all. And so I didn't come into this, this, um, this political atmosphere uh, with, with politics even being first, because I'm not going to let politics become my idol either. Okay? So politics is not going to be my idol. Race is not going to be my idol. Uh, none of this stuff, none of y'all are going to be my, idol. none of you will be my idol. None of you. Sorry. You know, I, <laughs> none of you. And, you know, th this idea that, you know, we have to be so race focused and that somehow is going to be, you know, it's going, it, it, it that it's going to somehow make me better or make me, you know, uh, what, what was, um, you know, paying less close to my community. You know, my, my neighbors, I live in a predominantly uh, black neighborhood, but I have some white neighbors, you know, so my community, you know, is not even all black. You know, if you live in, 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 in some other parts of where I live, they uh, no, Chad, it's not streaming on YouTube too. I, something is going on with YouTube and I couldn't, uh, stream to, but I'm going to upload it to YouTube. But, um, you know, it, it, it is, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, you know, so my community is mixed. So if, if I am advocating for my community, because I do, I believe I advocate for my community. I have been a very vocal 
uh, advocate for my community uh, with the schools. And we, where I live is one of the largest school districts. It's a lot of white folks. It's a lot of black folks. It's a lot of uh, a whole bunch of stuff where I live. So am I not advocating for my community? The, the education system is one of the most important uh, aspects of a community that you can have. So am I not advocating for my community? Um, all the work that I have done, all of the stuff that I have done in the Republican Party, that's a mix of all, you know, a mix of different people where I ran Black Voices for Trump. Didn't even really like the name, but okay, that's what it was. I'm not, but I wasn't leading with, you know, oh, you, you know, you got to be on the black stuff. No, that that's ne that is never, you have to lead people with truth. It is the truth that will make you free. True. Some of it is harsh. Some of it is harsh towards black people because a lot of this foolishness that get that gets lifted up in American society by black people is utter foolishness. Period. It is. And unless and until we start to tell the truth about something, you will never be taken seriously because truth resonates with your spirit, with your soul. So you can, you can try to shy away from all this stuff. Well, we, you know, we're not really going to talk about the black on black crime and black is proximity and all this other bullshit. Well, you tell that to the mom crying over her, her, her child's casket who got shot by another black kid. The leading cause of death amongst black men are uh, ages 15. I think it's up to 35 now. It used to be uh, 25. It's homicide. That is a preventable death. And we're supposed to walk around here and act like, oh, it's proximity. Well, how come all the other proximity, the, the other communities, their proximity, it, it ain't working like that over there. I don't, we don't see their high, vi high uh, violent crime over there. And it, in proximity. This is stupid. I, I am so sick of this. I am I am so sick uh even and, and the, these are from so-called conservatives, the Rep the black conservatives, the black republicans. I'm sick of it. You sound just like the progressives. You sound just like the commies. You do. You do. Because you still pledge your allegiance to black over everything. That's why you sound like a communist. And that was exactly the plot. That was exactly the plan to make you focus on something that doesn't matter to get you over the thing that really does. That's the plan. Oh, I, I know I'm like, but it's, it's, it's just, I have to say this, like, it's ridiculous. It is utterly ridiculous. You got all of these black people who claim to be conservative, but they sound, if, if, you, if you matched them up and you put them beside Mark Lamont Hill, you wouldn't even know the difference. What would be the difference? You could put them right next to Nicole Hannah Jones. What's the difference? <laughs> Shh, please, please. You know, we have to act, you know, black people, when, when you still cling on to the race idolatry, when you, when you think that your race makes you, you know, special in some kind of way or inferior in some kind of way or any extra att uh, 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 attention paid to race, you will always find that um, you're going to put it first. It's going to come before your, your faith. It's going to come before even the politics. Because like we got to, like we got to be giving people all of this stuff. You know, we got to give black people all this stuff because they're so accustomed to getting stuff from the government. So we got to do like the left does and give them all of this stuff, you know, so we can win the vote. Like, you're not going to really, you're not going to win for real if you are not principled in what you're doing. If giving people stuff 
if, if you're giving people things that are not earned, if it if it's not good for for Democrats to do it, then why in the ham sandwich are we doing it for Republicans? Why? These are principal things. If it don't work when you're doing it on the left, it's not going to work when you do it on the right. <laughs> this is stupid. And then if we do it on the right, and then black people, you know, all you know, black people are coming over to the right and they're like, oh yeah, well, we're gonna have, you know, all of these things, we're gonna give black people this and give black people that because we're trying to attract the attract them in an unprincipled way. What is that going to make the Republican Party? That's already jacked up. <laughs> it's already jacked up. American uh Maroon says, right. Politics has made a lot of people crazy as hell and makes you revert back to whiteness and blackness. Individuals will use it as a weapon to throw fuel. It will. I mean, we will just keep creating more foolishness. That's what will happen. Sorry, that's what's going to happen. Um, you have to, you know, biblical principles apply regardless of skin color. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it, it, these are principles that transcend race. We're talking about humanity. They transcend race. So, I mean, if, if we're going to be giving out people, give, giving people, if we're just going to be giving out stuff to, to people um, as Republicans and or conservatives, whatever you want to call it, then what is going to be the difference? We have been so indoctrinated to communism and the left and progressivism that you can't even tell when you're doing it. You can't even tell. You don't even know. You think just because you got that R by your name and you went through the public school system, you went through the universities and you still, you, you're indoctrinated still. You just got a little less indoctrination than the left. That's all. That's it. Because if you're on this race thing, like that it, you know, black this and, and black pride and all the black and the black, the, you, you're, 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 you are buying into the communist plot. You're buying into the communist plot. The Patriots podcast, love your stuff. Would you be interested in possibly doing a podcast segment with me in the future? I've had William Rush... On as well as Stephen Jones and Natalie uh, Beisner. Sure, uh, the Matrix podcast. Um, you can email me here. You can email me there. Um, it's it's not going to change. If you keep, if, if you are focusing more on race than, uh, than the principle of the things, <laughs> um, then you, you will, you will fail. You will fail. Uh, Chad is asking me, I missed the opening of the live. What sparked the scorching you are exhibiting at present, Keisha? So, Chad, so I uh, got into this back and forth with someone on Twitter. Um, gosh, I don't, I can't even, uh, what sparked the conversation? Um, hold on, let me go back and look, because this is important. Um, we were talking about... Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to tell you. Um, I saw, I think I saw, oh, I saw this post. I saw
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, 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 where is it? Um, dang it. Anyway, the person was basically, they were talking about race in some way, just like over being, uh, overemphasizing it on something. And I said, I said, um, oh, oh, this was the, this was, this is what started it all. It said it was, there is a critical need for more prominent non-leftist black voices who don't veer off into goofball territory. People who can critique the excesses of progressivism without completely denouncing their community. There are some, but we need more. And I said, why is race so important to you? Serious question. Because like, why? Um, like non, we need more prominent non-leftist black voices who don't veer off into goofball territory. Tell me that that is not freaking N Nicole Hannah Jones, Kimberly Crenshaw. We need more black voices. We need um, we we need the uh, what what do they say? No, it wasn't it wasn't Maj, but yeah, I mean it's that group though. It's that group of you know the group, Chad. It's the the conscious conservative black, you know, you got the you know. Um, and I'm not saying that you can't point out when black people do good things, or you can't point out. I'm just like, why does it have to be this is a black person doing this? This is a black per or this is a white person. Just post what the person did. Just post it. We can see that they black. Like you don't have to remind us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's silly. So like, but this sounds like exactly the critical race theory uh, tenets that you have to amplify black voices that, you know, my lived experience as a black person, it has to be heard. There, there. I'm, I'm quote. I'm reading from this tweet again. There is a critical need for more prominent non-leftist black voices. That is the exact same thing. What is the difference between what that that line and critical race theorists, a theorist who are communist? What's the difference? And then they gave me this long, I actually love my community. This was their response. I actually love my community, but never turn my back on where I come from. I understand the struggles. I've lived the struggles and I have a duty to pay for the sacrifices that's been made on my behalf. I'm old enough to remember my great grandfather who was raised by his grandfather, who was born a slave. I don't have to whitewash who I am. I am to get white people to accept me. See, this, this, this is my problem. <laughs> whenever you don't ascribe if you are black and you do not ascribe to the common black narrative then you get to start you 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 start being accused of not loving yourself and you want to appease white people now you're grifting now you're doing this and that hey there there are grifters. There are grifters. There are people that, you know, are ashamed of what they look like. There's all those things could be true, but you need to watch and check yourself on, on who you are ascribing that to because everybody ain't like that. People can just have a revelation. People can just believe what they believe and it have nothing to do with it because I will tell you, I do not care what white people think. I don't. I don't care what black people think. I don't. <laughs> I care about what people who have something people I I I really I don't care about what none of y'all think, honestly. <laughs> I I care about good ideas. I care about hearing uh you know good perspectives on on different things, but I could give a flip. Let me hear me clearly. I could give a flip what white people in particular think. Could give a flip what black people in particular think. As you know, if we talking in groups, I don't care. I don't care. I do 
not care. It ain't making me no money. <laughs> Look, if I wanted to, if I want, if I cared, uh, then I would be, you know, doing certain things because there is, de there are definitely certain ways to, you know, make yourself, you know, be a more prominent uh, conservative and all that kind of foolishness. I'm not on that clearly because I'm not one. I'm not. And I'm not saying that the ones who have risen to uh, prominence don't believe what they believe. I'm just saying that ain't me. Um, let's see. Chad says, especially, essentially what they're saying, promote the solutions without addressing the problems. Um, but are they really solutions though, Chad? Are they really solutions? I don't even know if what, I don't, I don't think that a lot of these progressive Republicans, <laughs> um, I don't see that what their solutions are, are really solutions. Like maybe I could agree with that if, if their solutions were actually rooted in something that would work, but I don't even know if their, if their solutions are actually solutions, but yeah, I do think that that's a part of it, but I haven't seen these people actually promote realistic solutions. I, all I see them doing, saying is basically go and do what the Democrats did. Like I, here's what I will say. I think there are some things that you can um, copy for lack of a better word that are worth, you know, uh, implementing on, on, our, on the right. I think there are some good things that you can do um, and you can do it in, a, in, a, in, a, in an honest way. You could do it in a righteous way that doesn't um, take away from the principal thing. But um, for the most part, if we're going to just sit here and say, okay, we'll just give, like, give, give this, give that, you know. Um, no, I don't think that that's the way. I don't think that we have, you have to pretend like you, uh, or, or, or I don't think that you have to like, it, I don't see how you can, um, I don't see if you're like, um, sh being more black, you know, for lack of a better word, or, or, or trying to present yourself as really caring about black people, how that's going to move the needle because, it's not what you say, it's what you do. Because we've seen the left say that they care about black people too. And they say it, but they don't, it, 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 it's when you look at it, it's really nothing. It, it doesn't amount to anything. So I, I think it's an individual, it's an individual thing. It is hard to appease any group of people. So when you start to just like, you know, you can, you can, you can sort of have a, a, a um, you can have a, you know, uh, uh, you can get an idea of where people are going or what they're thinking by when you start to group them in categories. I mean, we do that in marketing all the time. Yes, you have segments and groups of people, but even when you get into the nitty gritty of that, like you are still having to drill down into what people actually uh, think and want. And if you're trying to prescribe a one size fits all for an entire community of people who just they're, they're the common shared thing is skin color that is not gonna work like you have to kind of know their level of thinking like you you have to know what their worldview is you know it's a it's you you can't just say oh they're black so they they must you know do this it's like no you can't do that like that doesn't even work in business it doesn't work in business like um, you know, the more that's why that's why companies are so focused on data because they want to get as granular as possible. That's why they're so focused on the data because it, you're you're trying to segment out, you know, people who move and do this particular thing. And when you're doing that, you are you're you you are you're trying to uh figure out what moves them and 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 uh, gets them to change their behavior. You can't do that by just lumping all black people together. 
You can't. Like a, you know, this would be obvious at this point. You take a person who did not go into the, uh, uh, let's stick with black folks. If you take a black person who did not go through the, um, the education, higher education system, and a person who works a blue collar, you know, job, their outlook is going to be a lot different. In my view, the person who's who stayed out of the institution is probably going to be a lot more realistic, a lot more their feet firmly planted in reality than a person who went to a university. You're going to you're going to get a better so but they could they they could both be black. You can it's just so many different things. Like we're not we're you know people, human beings, we just have different uh ways that we live our lives. We have different things that are important to us, we have different, you know, uh uh ways of looking at things, and you're you're not gonna get the best result if you are abandoning principles because that the principal thing is going to be the thing that you must start from in order to get a real uh in order to really move society in any way you have to maintain the principle of the thing so i i'm just so annoyed at this idea that if i don't you know i got to be black in a certain way. You know, you don't tell me how to, you don't tell me, what the frick do you think you are? You don't tell me what I, you know, how I'm supposed to live my life, you know, as a black person or accuse me of not caring enough. Screw you. I probably did more work in less time than half of the people um, that's up here running a dog on mouths. You, you, you may have been Republican and conservative longer than me, but I guarantee you, I have done more in in the fight than you have. And and didn't have to, um, you know, uh, uh, brought black people into the conservative movement, and it didn't have to pretend like you know. <sighs> that crime wasn't a problem, that abortion wasn't a problem, that all of these things that are real problems, that I, I didn't have to do all, not talk about those things because people like truth. And when you start actually, if you are if you can explain to them and, and you can show them, and this is on an individual level here, if you can start to explain and show them the different things, people are, they, they, they become a, a lot more receptive. You don't have to freaking shuck and jive and act like you're some, you don't have to not be who you are because people can sniff that out anyway. That's probably why there hasn't been a lot of success um, when black people are trying to uh, appeal, when Republicans, black or otherwise, are trying to appeal to um, um, other black folks because they they put on this, they, they do all this stupid stuff that they don't have to do. Anyway, um, I just, I needed to address that. Um, yeah, I did. I needed to address that for my own sanity. Sometimes, you know, you just got to get stuff up off your chest <laughs> and, um, yeah. So there's my take just to recap. I'm not trying to appease white folks. I could give a flip about what white people think. I could give a flip about what black people think. I care about what my Lord and Savior says of me. So if after this, if you still got a problem understanding what, where I am, how I feel, and, and what, what I think, I don't know what to tell you. But this is my heart. My heart is God's kingdom. His kingdom. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. And as long as we on this side of heaven, we're going to have, it's going to be, uh, it, it, there, there's going to be racist. There's going to be uh, injustices. There's going to be all those things. And our job is to stay or stay as believers. Our job is to um, stay true to the word of God, not make up our own stuff. You know, oh, one more thing. So the person went on to, 
uh, you know, talk about basically how, you know, God made race and, and we shouldn't be shying away from that. Um, <laughs> I asked, I said, well, can you show me this in the Bible? Because the Bible, when God talks about, you know, us, either God is talking about nations, uh, culture, or he's saying that, you know, he made us as we are one blood. That's what the Bible says. He says we are one blood. So if you got a problem with how I feel, if I ain't black and right for you, that's on you. And you can take it up with the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. So go on and take it up with him because there is nothing in the Bible that talks about race. There's different nations that have, you know, there's different ethnic groups, you know, but, but race is a social construct. It is made up. Okay. It is. So, like I said, if you, if you're still questioning, take it to the Lord in prayer. Cause I don't know what to tell you at this point. <laughs> Um, American Maroon says, right. When it comes to abortion and crime, I think it's, if it's, if it present, if it's present, presented correctly and balance of crime and abortion across all would be received with better understanding. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. All I can say, I hope I get it right before he cracked the sky. Okay. Listen, we're all trying to. Uh, those of us that are believers, you know, we're all pressing towards that higher, that higher mark. You know, I'm not, I am not, I, I, I want people to be set free from this racial, from this, you know, if you are a Christian, you know, whom the sun sets free is free. Indeed, it is freeing. There is a freeing when, um, when, when you don't have to Wear those things. You can just be. Then you can really see see uh, see God. Then you can really see uh, what God is doing. But as long as um, you know race is your first thing, if that's the thing that's you know that you're seeing the world through, you you're gonna you're gonna be tricked. The the enemy is going to trick you. He's gonna trick you. He's going to make you believe something that is not of God because he knows that you, you are in bondage to skin color. And that's a whack. That is whack. <laughs> it's stupid. And I've been there. I have been there. So I'm saying this as a person who has been delivered from this. I have been there. It is a trick of the enemy. Get set free from that. Get set free. If you call yourself a Christian, a believer, then you need to get set free from the bondage of skin color, of seeing the world through race. It is a trick of the enemy. It is something, this whole race thing is something that the enemy uses to divide people. Because at the end of the day, if you're white, you got struggles. If you're black, you got struggles. If you're on this side of heaven, you're going to have problems. Period. So you know, it, it just it 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 just is what it is. It race is is not important. It is not important. So um, thank you guys for watching and putting up with my <laughs> with my rant here. Um, whew, I just needed to get that off of my chest because people 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 will try you. They don't know you but they want to try you and think that you, um, I don't know what they think, but not, I'm not, I, I'm not the one, not at all. Okay. So thank you for watching. Uh, whom the sun sets free is free. Indeed. Get yourself set free, honey. Okay. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.